everyone, Andreas Schiel. If you followed my robot arm project, you probably know this image here. It shows a moving base for my robot arm using mechanical wheels. I posted this image roughly three years ago. At this time I designed these wheels, but I never printed them, because my printer at uh, this time was not able to print such big um, st um, stable and uh, sturdy parts. Recently I d um, finished my new 3D printer, which can print bigger and, more st and stronger parts. So I decided to give this project another go. And this is what came out of it. At this time I just made a, a simple mock-up of the frame because I had no idea how to build it. Now that I have uh, a bigger lathe and a welder, I decided to do it full steel and this is roughly the result. It took me about 200, more than 200 hours of printing. Each hub uh, is about 800 grams of ABS. So I used more than three uh, spools of filament to print the wheels. If you're not familiar with uh, this kind of wheels, they have basically this hub. Every hub consists of rollers who are in an angle of 45 degrees um, to the normal running surface. Each roller is um, completely free and not actively driven. So if we rotate all the wheels at the same uh, speed, uh, we move forwards or backwards. If we rotate um, the wheels counter, uh, clock, uh, counter rotational to each other, the whole assembly moves sideways. And if we move um, two wheels in, uh, on each side in one direction and the other one in a different direction, uh, the um, rover will turn on the spot. As you can see, it's uh, right now completely passive. But even though um, the omnidirectional movement is clearly uh, visible. Of course, right now these uh, rollers are printed as solid object. Uh, it's not uh, optimal. Future versions will um, I will try to cast us out of some PU or some other rubber uh, the rollers, but for now I think this works. I think it's also a little bit problematic because it, you basically have uh, solid parts smashing on the ground, so it probably damages uh, either the rollers or the ground. So it's nothing for uh, long term, but for now I think it works great. One thing I did for my construction is I split the frame in two halves and mounted it rotational. So if you set it on an uneven surface like, like so, all four wheels still have always contact with the ground. I think that's um, something more or less important for this kind of operation. So, obviously it's not finished. I ordered the motors um, just a few days ago, so they will arrive in roughly one to five weeks. I don't know. I plan to use uh, DC motors with uh, inbuilt encoders and rotation uh, all, everything will run on 24 volts, so they can drive the robot arm also. And uh, to my calculations, uh, the maximum speed is about 1.8 meters per second, or something about 6.5 kilometers an hour. I think that's more than enough for a 
mostly or primarily indoor robot and we will see how it goes. The construction, um, the idea is basically that we have a compartment on the back where the batteries are stored and all the electronics and on the front we have a variable uh, loading space where we can put the robot arm or some other um, uh, actuals or the something else. I don't know. We will see what we find. So that's all for now. See you next time. Bye.